Hello class, let's get ready to learn about metabolism. We all want to know how we get energy and how we regulate that. So you should have learned in general biology about how, what is metabolism. Okay, so metabolism is when you take the food that you eat and then you break it down to make energy, like a battery, charge a battery. Okay, so that you can do work and produce body heat okay so this is the metabolic reaction so to simply put the if you want to if you want to have ATP made in the mitochondria of your cell you have to eat food so food has to come in and the simplest one we can look at is to look at glucose okay so glucose is C6 H12O6. So if you take a look at it that, that plus, why do we breathe? So you're breathing oxygen, okay? O2, six of them. And this two combined in the mitochondria through all their stuff you learned in general biology about the Krebs cycle, electron transfer chaining, all that glycolysis, all that good stuff, gets converted out to make ATP. Now, ATP is why your cell will do used to do work, okay? Like move your muscle, pump your blood, heartbeat, breathing, okay? And then, of course, produce heat. Along with that, when the energy is there along with that there's also then the waste product from this reaction and that is converted to carbon dioxide and water h2o so if you look at the equation really you're just converting the carbons the hydrogens and the oxygens into other forms of carbons hydrogens and oxygens but you get atp out of it so if you think about the reaction there is a rate right so if you want more ATP, this reaction has to go faster. For example, when you're running, what happened to your breathing rate? You breathe faster, you breathe more often, and you exhale more often, but you also your muscle is burning more of the ATP. So the reaction rate increases. Conversely, when you're sleeping, everything slows down and you burn less energy. There is a basal metabolic rate. So when you're sleeping or when you're resting, we do have a basal metabolic rate. And what that is, the basal metabolic rate, is actually what most of your energy is used to do, is to keep your daily function, really. So like breathing, like um, pumping your heart, your brain moving, uh, thinking and digestion, things like that. So that's about 60 to 65% of your daily activities, basal metabolic rate. Other stuff like physical activity makes up for other things. Of course, the more physically active you are, the more um, energy you burn. So it is this basal metabolic rate, the 60 to 65%, they are actually under the control. If you look at this pathway, under the control of a hormone. And this is part of the thyroid hormone pathway. So the thyroid hormone actually binds to the mitochondria of your cells to regulate the rate at which you make ATP. So you can imagine the more thyroid hormone that you have, the higher, the higher thyroid hormone, the higher ATP is produced. And then you're going to burn more food and oxygen to make more ATP. So this is regulated. However, you can't, your body cannot just waste energy or use too little energy. There is a homeostasis of thyroid hormone to make sure that you do have homeostasis of metabolism, energy balance. So based on this major concept of metabolism and why your thyroid gland regulates, I want you to take a few minutes to really think about these questions in purple and get a great understanding of metabolism and the role of the thyroid hormone pathway. Next um, video, I talk about the actual thyroid hormone pathway.